guys, welcome back to the Salt and Light YouTube channel. I am so glad that you're here and checking out this video. If you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for more biblical content to fill your feed with, check out my Instagram page, which will be linked in the description. And let's get started with the video. Okay, so today is uh, Salt and Light's official two year anniversary. And I am so excited and so thankful for all that the Lord has been doing the past two years. So in this video, I wanted to, um, I did, I did a reflection video for my one year, so go check that out if you haven't. But for today, I wanted to just kind of reflect on, um, the ways that the Lord has been growing this platform in the past year, two years, and then recap why I started it in the first place. So for those of you who are new to understand my heart behind this and what my mission and vision are for Salt and Light and just kind of the direction that it's heading and the way that the Lord has been directing me um, and just the times that I've spent in prayer about it in the past year. And uh, just to give you guys a better glimpse into who I am, what this is, and just the ways that the Lord has been growing it and the ways that he's been faithful to me. And so let's get started. Okay, so... Two years ago, about this time, I had been growing a lot in my spiritual maturity and I had come to a place where I felt that my cup was really full and I wanted to pour out into other people. Um, I had already been serving in the church in a couple places. I was serving in youth ministry and in um, on several worship teams. But the Lord had cultivated um, like these spiritual gifts and just ab abilities slash skills in me. Um, as in, I love to write, I love to um, to speak. I had started to get into Bible journaling and just um, being kind of using creative energies or in that way. And so I wanted to use those gifts that the Lord has had been cultivating in me for his kingdom. And I wanted to continue to be a light for um, in this world and just use what he had been given to pour out and serve other people um, in any capacity that I could. And so I was thinking about a podcast or a blog or something of that nature. And my dad suggested that I start with an Instagram page. And I was like, oh yeah, like I can do that. That's pretty easy. And everyone and their mother and their dog has an Instagram page. And so <laughs> I decided to start an Instagram page um, back two years ago. And my first official post was March 1st, 2021. And so it took me a while to decide on what I wanted to call it because I knew that I didn't want it to be my name or some sort of personal account because I wanted it to be focused on sharing biblical truth. And so I didn't want this to be like a platform that was all about me. Um, not that other people who do that is bad. I just, that was what the Lord had placed on my heart was that I wanted to do something specifically to share biblical truth. Um, and so it took me a while and spent prayer, spent time in prayer, um, figuring out what I want this to be centered on. And so then I landed on Matthew 5, 13 through 16, which is um, a part of the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus is talking about being the salt and the light of the world. And so I landed on that as kind of my mission slash vision verse for salt and light. And uh, that's what I named it. And so I'll get to later how that's continued to impact this platform. But in the beginning, that's what I decided to name it, and that's what I've um, kind of centered my my posts and my everything that I do and say on here is helping um, you guys to become the salt and light of the world. So that's kind of how it started, and that's my mission and vision for this platform, and that is continuing. So the past two years and continuing forward into the future, it's all about it's all centered on Jesus and it's centered on sharing biblical truth and um, equipping and discipling other people. And sometimes I've, I can get discouraged of like, there's a lot of solid um, Christian platforms out there. However, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of, of evil and sin and darkness on social media. And so I don't think there can ever be too much Jesus in anywhere. So that is just kind of an encouragement to me is when I feel like, like, there's a lot of other people that are doing this and I don't want to compete and what if I'm not as good or I don't have as big of a following as them? It, just to remind myself that A, living in obedience and full surrender to the Lord and C, A and B, <laughs> the most important thing I could possibly be doing is serving his kingdom and glorifying him. And so that's what this is about. That's what Salt and Light will always be about is glorifying the Lord and fulfilling the Great Commission. And it's not about me, not about my 
um, knowledge or my greatness or anything like that. It's not about me and to fill my, fulfill my pride. And that also um, has taken a lot of intentionality and discernment and praying over that over my own heart, but keeping it centered on the Lord. It is focused on him. It is all about him. It will always be all about him. And so I just want you guys to hear that and to know that, that that is my heart behind salt and light is salt and light is, is all about the Lord period. Um, so with that, this past year, I have seen so much growth in my own heart, um, continued growth as a result of salt and light. And so as I've continued to grow this past year and just getting older and now I'm in college. And so just kind of continuing to head into the future and growing up and becoming more of an adult. And as I've kind of started that with, um, just this past year, it's forced me to think about like more seriously, what do I want to do with my life? I'm here at college. I'm getting a communication degree. Like, what am I going to do with my life? And so I've been thinking and praying about that a lot more. And I did in high school, but even more so now, because now I'm like living it. And so that's, um, caused me to become more serious about this platform. And I've seen a lot of, a lot more consistency and just something really cool is that, um, the Lord has continued to spark energy in me for it. And, um, he just continues to renew my soul in just a way that I, like, I absolutely adore doing this account. Like it is, it brings so much joy. Um, I love doing it. And so the, I can see the evidence of the Lord's hand on this platform because of the way he continues to renew my energy and to give me ideas and inspiration, um, for new, just new things and new goals and hopes that I have for this platform. And so it's back one year ago in my one year reflection, I talked about how I wanted this to become a potential career. And so that is even more true today. And this is what I want to be my full-time career one day. And so right now it's not there. Um, but it's more than just a hobby. And so I just want you guys to hear that I take this very, very, very seriously. And even though I have a job and I have, um, work or, um, school work and then social life and family and all this, like, this is not just a side thing. Like this is, um, a very serious part that is like, it's almost like another limb. Like I could never, unless, um, like Lord willing, this is something that I, like, I don't think I could ever lose. And I think the Lord has just used in so many amazing ways that, um, yeah, like this is just, this is something that I'm taking very seriously. And this is not just like a, eh, whatever, like when I get to it, it's become a very, like, almost like a job, um, in a good way. So I also have been spending a lot of time in prayer of, for the Lord to take this where he wants it, um, that I would just be a vessel for him and that this again would be only about him and about serving him and glorifying him. And I want to serve him in the best ways that I can, but I have seen him continue to grow in me, um, the gifts needed to continue this account and to further it. Um, and so God is so good and he has done so much. And so I'm so thankful for this platform and just the ways that he's used it. And two years later, this is something that I'm continuing. And I, when I started it two years ago, I did not even know like how much, how big of a part of my life it would be. And even though I don't have like a crazy large following or anything, and it's still a fairly, fairly small account, which I'm aware of that it's become way bigger than I ever thought that it would. And so, and just bigger in my life. And so it's just really cool the way that the Lord works and the way that he is just faithful and sovereign and how he surprised me in a lot of ways that I, I had no idea, no clue. And so anyways, yes. He's grown me personally through this. He's grown my relationships through this. He's grown um, just, again, my gifts and my my spiritual gifts and just like regular normal talents um, in terms of like content creation and all of that. But so thinking about the future, I'm not going to give any specific details because I kind of want to keep it a surprise as I continue to release things. But the Lord has given me so many ideas and exciting things for this platform. So I would really, really, really appreciate if you enjoy this by any means, like if, 
if you like the things that I put out there, if it's encouraging you to you in any way to share, um, to share with your friends and your family. And if anyone you think could benefit from um, just the things that, not just me saying it, but the Lord speaking through me, if you think that it could benefit someone, send it to them. And this is not just me talking. This is like the truth of scripture. If you think that you know anyone in your life that could benefit from hearing um, truth from the word of God, send it to them. And this does, it doesn't just have to be salt and light, but anything, any kind of poster, um, influencer uh, account that you follow, send it to people, share, share the encouragement, share the discipleship, share the edification. Don't just keep it for yourself. Um, so just a little encouragement. Whenever you, if you ever see anything related to um, what the Lord's doing and um, the like biblical truth, share it and let other people know. So I'm going to, um, there will be new additions to Salt and Light with, within the period of the next month um, that I'm going to be adding to grow and encourage and edify you. And so kind of now, thinking about a career path and thinking about the future, a goal, my main goal for Salt and Light and for what I want it to become is it to be a platform where I create resources that help you to become the Salt and Light of the world. And so that's going to be the main focus that I have and just kind of the lens that everything comes out of, um, other than mainly to glorify the Lord. But everything that I produce is for the purpose of discipleship and edification and helping you to become the Salt and Light of the world. I'm also going to be sharing content like specifically for um, like unbelievers and people who don't know the gospel. So I, I do want to keep it gospel centered in that way. But everything that I add, I'm going to be adding more like branches out, out of the main, the main um, foundation of Salt and Light that will continue to provide you with helpful resources. And so if you value the resources, if you like them, share them and um, promote them to other people so that they can also receive um, encouragement because I want to encourage and be a vessel of truth to anyone that I can um, but not for my sake for the sake of the Lord and so I want you to hear that like if you hear anything out of this video is that this is for the Lord and the glory of the Lord alone this has nothing to do with me nothing to do this is not me wanting to be famous or and if this never becomes um, something that's like a sustainable career so be it like all that I want, my whole purpose and goal and motivation is to be a vessel for the Lord. And that's all that I want. That's my desire. And so if you, if you hear anything out of this two-year reflection, I've reflected on and prayed that the last year that this is about the Lord and not about me at all. It's not. I think I, I think I got that understood. So anyways, all in all, there's very new exciting things to come. The Lord has been moving and working and I am so incredibly thankful for each and every one of you. For those of you who are faithful to watching and um, commenting and liking um, everything that I put out, I am so thankful and I want you to hear that. And I do love each and every one of you and I want to encourage you as my brothers and sisters in Christ the very best that I can and to be putting out biblical truth to combat the darkness of the media. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so thankful. The Lord is so good. He is faithful. He is sovereign. And um, let's continue to be the salt and light of the world and um, bring the name of Jesus to the ends of the earth and to proclaim his name and make him known. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching this two-year reflection. Um, Stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.